This is episode 158 of Congratulations. What's up, my babies? Hey, you know what? I fucking told you. Dude, did you think I wasn't going to do it? This the fucking turtleneck episode, man. And I got a, I got the, I legitimately got the A-list turtleneck on right now. And it's, I got, I actually didn't mean to not bring towels. I was going to stack towels up. But dude, it's so fucking on, man. I, I got this turtleneck. I bought it with my own money. You should be proud of me. I was with my German friend, Matthias. And I had lunch with him. He's in L.A. And I was like, I need to get a turtleneck. Let's see if they got turtlenecks. Dude, we popped in a rag and bone, and I got a fucking turtleneck. And this is not an ad, dude. <laughs> this is an ad for sexiness. I'm wearing a turtleneck. And, dude, I look like a fucking bank robber, man. Like a, like a good, like one in, the, in Britain in, in, 19, in 1955. And that's so ill. And I got, and I got, a, I got a bunch of drinks here. But I'll tell you what, before I even start, I'm doing shots. I got shots of, uh, of, of cold brew. So I don't drink, but I still want to be a part of it. And it's kind of bullshit. I don't get to do shots. So. Mm. It's on, dude. Imagine me fucking sitting in a turtleneck in a French cafe just doing shots of espresso. Cold. Wow. God damn, dude. Girls will be like, parlez-vous en français? And I will be like, I don't know. I upped the game, dude. I fucking up the game. How many of you motherfuckers know that, that, uh, uh, that somebody did a podcast with a turtleneck on? Anyone? Anyone? If so, they're fronting, bro. This is the real deal. Anyway, it's episode 158 um, of con- of congratulations. And I got some dates here uh, that I'm coming. March 20th and March 21st. I'm first. Firth? March 20, Colin Firth. I'm doing West Palm Beach. Florida, I'll be there March 20th and March 21st, West Palm Beach, Florida. April 3rd, a- April 3rd, I'll be in Robinson, Mississippi. And April 10th, I'll be in Roner Park, California for some reason. Then I got Vegas dates, the 17th and 18th of April. And then I'll be in Brea, California, April 30th to May 3rd. And then May 7th to May 10th, going to be there, going to just buy a house there, I guess, because I'll be there for so long. And then Vegas again, August 28th and 29th. So that's what's up. Also, um, a lot of guys want to know about my opener. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't mention him all the time, but his name is Mike Linochi, and uh, he's got uh, some dates coming up, too, that I wanted to promote because I wanted people to go to his show. Because deep down, under it all, nice guy. New York, February 11th, Gotham Comedy Club. Boston, February 12th, Laughs Boston. And tickets at website or uh, bio in his profile. That's Mike Linochi. Uh, so you can go check out the guy who opens for me. You, you know, he's been opening for me for years. So if you've seen me do stand-up, you've probably seen him. So go support him in Boston and New York. Uh, I think it's MikeLinochi.com or Michael Linochi. Linochi.com. Whoops. Pissed off. Messed it up. Yes. Um, no, but uh, yeah, it's MikeLinochi.com. And um, I fucking... Um, Always think about how he uses the name Michael instead of Mike, and he should just use Mike. But it's all good, dude. It doesn't matter. What's the matter? He's not me. Thank God, by the way. Dude, here's the other thing, too. He couldn't pull off a turtleneck. But I got it, dude. I got a fucking... It's the turtleneck episode. Hey, dude. Congratulations. It's the turtleneck episode. Wow, dude. Imagine me just plowing you at 4.30 p.m. with that song. With this, only a turtleneck on, dude. And the turtleneck goes low, and I cut out a hole for the dick and balls to come out on the bottom of my shirt, and I'm just drilling. Dude, we drill. We drill, my babies. Uh, But I do it slow and controlled. I don't fucking pop, 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 pop. I don't do that kind of sex. I sincerely never did that. Um... I, I do beautiful. I, I do beautiful. Like if, if we, even if we're having sex like in a basement, or if we're having sex in like a, a, a fucking hallway somewhere, it's still it's practically like we're on the veranda and, and, and we're French, and and curtains are just blow like the outs- the curtains are just blowing in on the inside, and the sunlight's peeking through, and we're in a beautiful fucking bed with one of those like bottom uh, frame posts that that come up. Even though that's annoying because I'm very tall. I'm a tall drink of water, obviously. But it's got a bit a bo- on the bottom. It's got a, a one of those footboards, and and a, and it and it 
you know, it's hard for me to keep my legs extended on it because I have to, I have to bend it up like a grasshopper. Anyway, it's beautiful when we have sex in the veranda. I've never had sex. I've only made love. Anyway, do it. <laughs> Dude, it's on and popping, man. It's fucking so on and popping and it's unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. Oh, so Harry Carey sings that. Um, so fucking, so bitch. It's so unbelievable. Ah, oh. that song is so bitch. Wow, it's unbelievable. Anyway, dude, come see me. It's all good. Who cares? If you don't come, it doesn't matter. I have this podcast. <laughs> anyway, dude, I'm drinking this forty ounce water. Ah, uh, shout out to my boy Theo Rossi. But also. Um, yeah, I'm wearing this turtleneck and bro, let me tell you something. It's fucking sweating bullets, bro. When you put a turtleneck on, if it's 20 degrees and you put a turtleneck on instantly, it's 85 degrees outside. And if you put a fucking turtleneck on nowadays, it's 50 degrees in LA. It's 110. What is it? June in Arizona. Uh, anyway. Yeah, dude. Uh, so that's Jesus. I haven't, I legitimately, we've been talking, I've been talking for six minutes and 20 seconds, literally have said absolutely nothing, but that's all good, man. Because why the fuck would you come here to, what do you want to learn about the caucus? What do you want to learn about the fucking caucus? No, dude, honestly, the caucus doesn't even know about the caucus. Dems made that up and they fucked it all up. Why are you changing it? Why are you changing it? Just get emails, dude. Do it old school. You don't need an app for it. You don't need an app for everything, you know? There's a fucking app that will tell you how you sleep and shit. I don't even believe in that, dude. I tried to get this whoop band, and it guess what? Damn fucking work. Dude, I put the whoop band how they said it, and it didn't work, okay? And then I put my friend's whoop band on to make sure, and no matter what I was doing, no matter how hard I was working out, my fucking, uh, what do you call it? Body, my rate, my heart rate was only 92 beats per minute. That's crazy. Do you know why? I'm not Dekanabe Matumbo, okay? My heart rate blasts when I work out because, you know, it's hard. Well, especially when I do legs. Oh, and I was doing legs that day. I was doing eccentric fucking workouts, and I was pausing at the bottom for, for three seconds trying to hold it. And my shit's 91 Bro, I wrote back and forth to the Whoop guys, and we were emailing, and they were like, well, I didn't see that. I don't see that. I don't know if that's true. And I'm like, all right, cool. Guess what? Click, slide over. The Whoop band's gone. I'm not doing it anymore. So we all lose. So we all lose. I don't know about my my body. What's going on with my body, dude? Maybe I'm Gemini Man or something. But uh, anyway, I got this fucking turtleneck, and it's so on. It's so cool, man. I look so cool. Um. So that's, I guess, what we would, sh- what, else, but that's all we should talk about about the turtleneck thing. But uh, we did that. Um, what do you call it? Uh, we did the uh, the thing about how you could text me the number of cities that I did, and um, on my on my community thing, and I got it here. Someone guessed it, dude. I said, guess how many. This is the best, too. I said, guess how many cities I played on the Follow the Leader tour? And if you text it to me on my, on my number, on my, on my number here, uh, you can text it to me. It's uh, eight, 818. I mean, it's too late. The contest is already over. But it's 818-239-7086. Uh, and um, I said, if you text it to me, first person to get the number of cities, can you have free tickets to see me? Wherever the fuck you are, two free tickets and a meet and greet. And the guy, it, it was Grayson Converse is his name. Now, this is just his name that he plugged into that. I don't know if that's his real name. I doubt his last name is actually really Converse, but he's probably wearing Converse and didn't want to give me his real last name. But anyway, he writes 119 cities, buddy. And he was fucking right. I played 119 cities on the Follow the Leader tour. And that's unbelievable, dude. And that's so unbelievable. Oh, because uh, that's a lot of cities. Some guy wrote me 480 cities, and I was like, hey, guy, no. So I wrote, you win. Uh, 
you're uh, you're in he, he's in LA. I said, "Let me know anytime you want to come see me and I'll get you tickets and say what's up." And he writes, "Haha, nice man. This will rock for us." And I wrote, "Let me know." And he never wrote back and that was January 28th. All good. A week ago. So, I'm waiting to hear fucking from him. Now I feel like the fucking fan. <laughs> Bro, I'll just show up to wherever you are, man, with tickets. Hey man, it's me in my turtleneck. Did you want to hang out? So, he won, and he has fucking free tickets, so that's cool. Anyway, uh, so he won, and that's awesome. Good congratulations to him, Grace, and the Converse, dude. And if you don't, meet and greet doesn't work. Let's go to France. And I'll lay you out sideways. So, um, oh, have you seen? This is the main thing I want to talk about today. The main thing. That is very important that I want to talk about that I can't fucking believe is something. This is, I've, dude, you know me. Everything's jokes. I make the jokes. I'm silly, being silly. And dude, I'm never trying to be a dick. Like, dude, here's the other thing too, man. I was on Twitter before I even get into this. Hey, log in, dude. Hey, log in. So I was on Twitter and I wrote something. Look, I met MGK, you know, at the comedy store. We're buds online. I like the guy. Think he's fucking, uh, you know, the music bangs. He's a rock star. And I write, he, you know, he had that thing where he was playing the uh, guitar on the fucking, um, Travis Barker tweeted it. And just like that, Interscope will never be the same. And Machine Gun Kelly is fucking rocking out on the on the table for the people, for the executives where he was having his, listening to his music. And I was like, all right, cool. And I thought, and it cuts before he gets off the table. And I wrote, I want to see footage of you getting down off the table afterwards, Machine Gun Kelly, which to me is funny because there's really, if you're on a table, first of all, if you're on a table, you're the shit. Doesn't matter what you're doing. You could be one of the fucking bartenders at Coyote Ugly. You could be Machine Gun Kelly. You could be a baby, like a legit toddler on the table just fucking doing like, like way, like, you know what I mean? Trying to eat food on the table. Babies always look at their busting nuts. You know what I mean? They're always just like, <laughs> so, um, I tweeted that because I thought it would be funny and I thought he would laugh. And of course he, you know, he probably did. And then some people write, then he, then he, then all my f- fucking you guys, dude, I, a lot of you are trying to impress me. You don't really, a lot of you is out there, you don't really get how humor works, you know? You'll be like, literally like, yeah, fuck that asshole. And you're like, well, I'm just joking. That's not a joke, dude, you know? So they write, so so people, so a lot of people were like, cringe, fuck him, this and that. And I'm, I'm like, Jesus Christ, you know? So he's like, he wrote back, he was like, well, if it was up to your fans, I would have fell on a bag of shit and broke my ankle or some shit. And I was like, yeah, you're right, bro. My fans are going ruthless, you know? So I wrote him and I was like, yo, man. And he was like, nah, I'm an easy target. It's all good. The Leah fan for life. So my whole thing is like, relax, okay? You don't need to fucking go on all cylinders. You know, it's like, make a, like, like uh, somebody said to me, uh, like people make fun of when, you know, when I put out, I put up these workout videos sometimes on my story because it makes me want to work out more. And then I feel if I don't work out and I don't post the story on Instagram, then you guys will be like, he didn't work out and he's sla- he, he's lagging. And so I need to fucking do more workouts because let's be honest, your boy's getting fucking V'd out, right? <laughs> like my abs are starting to look some, like some double black diamonds. And I'll tell you what. Sony just called me, and they want to shoot some fucking outdoor movies on my back, okay? I mean, I swear if you have a magnifying glass, and if you look close enough, you could you could find Jake Gyllenhaal and fucking Heath Ledger, because these are the Brokeback Mountains, all right? And I'm just telling you real stuff. Like, this could be on NPR, okay? I'm just telling you actual facts, and it's a comedy podcast, but my back... It has an atmosphere, okay? I was itching the other day, and I looked, and there were little birds flying all around. What am I going to do? I love animals. I let them fly around, and I still got some sleep. But my point is, 
I, I actually legitimately don't know my point. Okay. But we're honest here on this bit and in, in, in this podcast, we never lie. Okay. When I wear this turtleneck and I walk around town, I pass out towels because I don't want girls to hurt their tailbone or ankles. But I'm telling you, people go hard in the fucking paint online. You know what I'm saying? Like they go real hard in the paint. And I'm always just joking. I really am, dude. When it all comes down to it, I make fun of fucking Jeremy Renner. I make fun of this and that. Dude, I love Jeremy Renner. He's a- his acting is fucking really good, all right? There's something, though, that's real, my babies. There's something, though, that's not a joke. And it's how much I will never eat Sabra hummus again. Why? Because of their fucking commercial. Now, I always say this here. There should be no bad commercials, period. There shouldn't be bad commercials. Do you know why? They're 30 seconds. Do you know why? 30 seconds of content should be fucking easy. Even if you're trying to get a message across and you're trying to take people's money. Okay, Kleenex or whatever the fuck it is. I saw, this is all like just the whole culture, or I don't even want to use that word. The whole Super Bowl commercial, it's just people who say they watch Super Bowl just for the commercials are are the most boring people in the whole fucking universe, all right? Because do you know what? The commercials in the Super Bowl, they fucking suck, all right? Maybe there's two funny ones every three years, but, like, they're not that good, all right? Also, if they're that good, they should always all be that good, every commercial ever. So, really, you're just being a cuda thinking they're good because they think they have to be that good. Commercials are so easy. Dude, the most famous commercials of all time that have been spanning... uh, uh, Spanning time, spanning time. We're spanning time. Remember that in fucking Buffalo 66? We're going to span time. One of the greatest movies ever. I asked him for a photo once. And he said, I'd rather not. And I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot you're a fucking weirdo. It's all good. And, um, you know, the, these Super Bowl commercials, they pump so many, so much money into it, and they're just so bad, all right? And I'm not hating but, uh, you know, it's like, get it together, be better. They're, they're all glossy and shit. This Sabra Hummus commercial just takes the fucking cake, okay? First of all, the catchphrase is, America, how do you muss? All right, you're trying to make a fucking thing. You're trying to make a catchphrase. Now, this comes from your boy. Can I catchphrases? I don't try to make these catchphrases. I don't. They pop off when they pop off. I let him fucking speak to me, okay? I put out in the world, whatever I fucking talk about, it's bullshit. And when somebody says, yeah, I'm a baby, I say, oh, that seemed to work. So now y'all are my babies, okay? When I tell you life rips, and then when it goes viral on Instagram, the clip about me talking about how life rips, I realize it's an idea, all right? And that's how we promote the life rips culture. And even if you got bit in the face by a dog, life still rips. All right? And all of a sudden, yeah, now Natch, making bags off it. But that's how you do it. You let the people gravitate towards you. You don't shove a saying or some muss in people's face. Okay? So Sabra Hummus... This got all these fucking suits in a room and decided, well, we need a catchphrase. How about we shorten hummus to muss? And then we make it like it's a fucking verb. How do you muss? Now, instant. BRM. My BRM meter is at an all time high. Now, for those of you that don't know what BRM is, it's blood red mad. Okay? It's rising. Why am I seeing red? Because the blood's up to Heger. All right? So they made a commercial, How Do You Muss? And it's got... Now, I'm a fan of some of these people. And I've met some of these people, and they're nice people. 
But they put everybody that's like viral or in a meme or famous for something either 50 years ago or 20 years ago or for something that lasted three days, eight months ago in this commercial. And it is just so fucking what it is that I want to shit all over the place and leave it there for, for 35 minutes. And guess what, Sabra? That's how I muss. Okay? How do you muss? Oh, well, what I do? Shit in my pants and leave it there for 35 minutes and don't clean it up. What are you doing, Chris? It smells. <laughs> I'm mussing. All right? So, dude, this is the commercial, and this is, I don't even know who some of these people are. Some of these people I like. America, how do you must? Okay, that's that guy, that wrestler guy. What's his name? Ric Flair. Cool. Ric Flair, great. You're back in the culture because of fucking, what's his, what's the uh, fucking, uh, the three Migos? I'm going to call him the three Migos from now on. Is that why they're the fucking, is that what it's supposed to be? Amigos? <laughs> dude you're the three migos man get some fucking mexican hats or whatever they are sombreros <laughs> the three um migos you are the three um, migos you're the three migos dude <laughs> dude i figured this stuff out so anyway, America, how do you moss? This guy's back like he's Count Dracula. So Look at, could he be more? This is how I must. Could he be more Count Dracula? America, how do you must? Count Dracula. All good, Count Dracula. America, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. how do you must? Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. and he just fucking DDTs someone. So I must. Dude, wrestlers, you know? Now... There's this chick who I don't know it is, who it is, but she's laying like she's Nicki Minaj, and she's got everything's yellow, and she's. Oh, I must. This, is how, I this must. is how we must. Then two people that are maybe trans. I don't know. Am I in trouble now? But they're mussing because you got to get everybody mussing, dude. If they only had white people mussing, or God forbid, white straight white males mussing, then their whole thing would be like, well, wow, Sabra, you're canceled because of mussing. Everyone mussing is for everyone. Dude, I guarantee wow, that's a, that would be that would truly be what happened. They would be like, Mussing is for everyone, this is bullshit. And I'd be shitting in my pants, leaving it there, and I even though I'd be the straight white male, I'd be like, This is how I'm mussing. And I'm a straight white male. This is how I must. Now that's T Pain, obviously. Now, of course, of course, that's sad. Okay? Of course that's sad. Okay? Why? Because you know T-Pain went bankrupt. And if you don't know, you still think about it for a little bit and you think, well, of course he did, though. So I do secretly know, even though I never read that. And that's also the truth because he bought houses and all these cars. OK, then now I like all these guys. I, I, I like T-Pain's music. I like the next guy, um, uh, the guy who plays Steve Urkel, Jaleel White. Yeah, I like this guy. OK. But of course he's in this. Okay? You must. I'm a celery. I'm okay, a now, Amanda Cerny. It's Cerny, right? Yeah. Yes, I know that. Like her, too. I love her business sense. She kills it. It's inspiring. But, of course, she's in this. Then there's a guy that looks like fucking Tim Robbins. That's not Tim Robbins. Don't know who this guy is. But he's mussing a pretzel. Pretzels. Okay, boomer. Oh, and explosion. And explosion. And explosion. These fucking suits in this goddamn fucking thing. A bunch of dudes just. What about what about okay, boomer? We gotta add that. And explosion. Dude, are you fucking shitting me, man? You're going to give a phrase that's got eight days fucking keeping the internet on fire fucking three months ago. And and now it's in this commercial with this fucking chick 
who is this? I don't even know. And then she puts a whole carrot in there with the fucking leaf on it on the end. Like, goddamn, go fuck yourself. What is she, a fucking sociopath? She's got the whole carrot in there with the leaf on the end. Like, she's Bugs Bunny, dude. And then she says, okay, boomer. And then body rolls and explosion. Dude, BRM meter is a, an all-time high, man. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I want to take everybody from Sab- Sabra Hummus, dude, and I want to just take them out to dinner in a beautiful... And I want the dinner to last. I don't want them to sleep over. I don't want there to be any sex involved. I want to be hanging out. I want to wake up, and I want to go to breakfast with them. And I want to be having a great time. And then, dude, I want to go get mimosas with them. And then I want to fucking have a little siesta and have some lunch. And then I want to take some muss out, and I want to fucking put a spread out with all of the fucking things. The pretzels, the carrots, and all the shit. And then I want to fucking take them back to my veranda at fucking 4.30 p.m. And, bro... And just lay him the fuck out, dude. And be like, that's how I must. Come on, dude. Okay, boomer. No, dude. Everyone on the fucking thing under it. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Dude. That's... Hey, you know what, dude? It's not funny. Also, it's been around. Boomer is a thing that has been around for eh so long. And now, just because, we're all going to say, okay, Boomer, no. By the way, the commercial is 15% through. Así es como yo. Now, we had to make it appeal to the uh, you know, to other, to everyone else besides whites. So you've got this girl that just is pouring fucking stuff, hot sauce in it, which is so racist, okay? She's, you got the fucking brown lady with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the hot sauce. Oh, the okay boomer guy is the boomer assassin. Oh, oh, so it's clever, okay? Oh, so it's clever. Oh, and we can get boomer assassin. And they say, well, how do you know we can get boomer assassin? Well, because he's not doing anything now. Oh, man, these Super Bowl come Okay. So then, by the way, I know you're watching this, fucking people at Sabra, because this pocket's too big. Every time I fucking mention something, I get tweets. They're going to send me a package of Sabra Amis, and I'm going to have to fucking roll around in it. <laughs> There's a dog. I must pizza in subtitles. Just, And then there's this kid who definitely is on TikTok. I don't know who this fucking kid in all the yellow is, but he's definitely on TikTok. He's gaming. Bananas. No, bro, no, you don't. Don't lie. Bananas. <laughs> Bananas. Must buy. Oh, and the Asian with the crab, bro. Wh- wh- why is this so racist? And then you got the Chester Cheetos guy. Mm-hmm. Then this magician guy, which is like it take. It, it's like he's doing his magic shit, but really, it doesn't count if it's a fucking commercial because you're just using special effects. He's not doing it. They did it with Sabra, the Sabra people. Back to and the winner is? With the beef jerky, which yeah. is S racist. Spicy. This is a five star too. Sassy. Jerky! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is how we must. <laughs> Sabra Hummus! Woo! Sad. America, how do you must? Dr- this Dracula. Is how must. This, this is how we fucking must. Fucking Dracula, dude. Jerky! You know, whose goddamn idea was that? Whose fucking shit-ass idea was it to have T-Pain sing Jerky at the end of the song? Also, how much is that song a fucking garage band beat? They didn't even pay for it because they spent every... Bu- they spent so much... <laughs> They spend so much money, dude, that they're like, we don't have any budget left for a, a, a song. And they'd be like, well, um, GarageBand was popular in 1999. I must celery. I must pretzels. Okay, boomer. I see. It's- that girl's actually kind of cute how she does that. I can't hate. But also, no. Oh, God. Dude, I want to be in that commercial for real. And I want them to cut to me and be like, I don't fucking must. Or me just with pants on and shit leaking out of the fucking ankles. And 
<laughs> with a bunch of sabra hummus all around and my feet are in it and i just go like this and i go like this 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 is how i must i don't I, and then it cuts but you boom bam boom nail and Boomer Esiason dipping a football in it. This is how I must. just gets a l- more and more crazy. And then me. Okay, Boomer. This is how I must. I'm leaking. Bro. If I see Sabra Hamas around, I'm fucking putting my balls in it. Cop Terra. Listen, dude. If you work for a small business or have a side gig, you probably need to find software. But you also have other things to do, things you'd probably rather be doing, obviously. Well, you can cut to the chase with Captera, the website millions of people use monthly to find software for their team or business. They simplify the software search into a few steps. It starts with using their free resources that's free and guides to pinpoint the problem and identify the software features you need. I'm all in with that, obviously. Then you can filter options to find the right software for your industry. They have over 700 specific categories of software. Yeah, that's 700. So that's so many that you you can't even think of that many. And you can even compare them side by side side and save your favorites to a short list. It's very user-friendly, very easy to use. I've seen it. Um, it, Free in-depth software guides and tools, plus over 1 million reviews from real users. Come on, man. That's awesome. Uh, There's bakery software, which I clicked on bakery software, and it gave me so many different softwares for bakeries. So if you have a bakery or anything, they've got this figured out. Just go check it out. Trust me. Visit capterra.com slash congrats for free today to find the software tools you need for your business. capterra.com slash congrats. capterra, that's C-A-P-T-E-R-R-A dot com slash congrats. capterra, software selection simplified. You know that Honey is the free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them to your cart. And you know how great it feels to save. But how does it feel to save with Honey? Saving with Honey feels like sliding into a seat on the train just before the dorks close, hitting every green light to your on your commute. And in L.A., that's awesome. Finishing your podcast episode right as you walk into work. You know what Honey feels like saving with Honey? This is what it feels like. Oh. Honey has found its over 18 million members, over $2 billion in savings. That's incredible. Did you know Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, including Macy's, Target, Sephora, Best Buy, and more? And they're adding more every day? Did you know that? Hmm. Do you use those big-ass companies? Yes. I'm buying lots of uh, baby stuff, and you know Honey has saved me hundreds of dollars filling up the boys' closet. Using Honey feels pretty great. Think of it as a little daily victory. Plus, it's free to use and installs in just a few seconds. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash congrats. That's joinhoney.com slash congrats. Uh, yeah, dude. How do you must? Okay. Uh, yeah, dude. That, that, that commercial is just so fucking ridiculously produced it's just so bad let me do your commercial sabras sabra dude you don't you don't understand too you have so much to lose that's the thing i'm telling you right now if you let me do your commercials and i'm serious if you let me do your fucking commercials and then i'll lay And I'm in a turtleneck right now, and I'm sweating bullets, and I haven't taken it off because I'm down for the cause, dude. How much to also, I fucking, this is the Tom Cruise. I realize this is him in the fucking, in his fucking whatever it is with Bar- well, who's he? Barbara Walters. Is that what he was talking about? When you're a Scientologist, okay, when you're a Scientologist, you save people, right? <laughs> you save people. Yeah, Barbara Waters, Tom Cruise, 1992 video. No, no, it's not the 1992 one. It's the other one. But anyway, he's got a turtleneck on, and I have a turtleneck on, so I'm Tom Cruise. And I and y'all, y'all can go fuck yourself. Um, so did you watch the Super Bowl? Dude, I, I was on that kid's Instagram. Uh, I actually don't even know his name. I'm so fucking out of the loop. What's his name? Uh, 
the Super Bowl guy, the the the, the fucking quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, the guy who won, Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes. That guy's cool. He's like fucking if Eric Andre put the mask on. And so uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, he's awesome. Uh, I love that guy. Just he seems like such a nice guy and good dude. And uh, he scored a lot of touchdowns and he won the Super Bowl for the Chiefs. And the Chiefs haven't won in fucking 21 years. So that's cool. Um, and And he is 24. And that's fucking insane to me. The thing that's insane to me are is how young these guys are now that I'm fucking now. I'm the youngest guy alive. Everyone knows that I'm the youngest man alive. But I'm fucking 39 also. And it's crazy that these kids are all so young and they can just fucking win Super Bowls and also probably beat the shit out of me. And that's so crazy. But, dude, that's so cool. That guy just looks like he's s living it up, you know? That's the thing. When a 24-year-old wins a Super Bowl, it's time to s live it up. When fucking, if the other dude won, he's a little older, he just kind of chills probably. Um. Anyway, he's he's living it up, dude. Congrats to the Chiefs. Like, I give a fuck, but that guy seems like a cool dude. His girlfriend is, dude, his girlfriend does the thing where it's like, we did it. And it's like, okay, that's my favorite. When the guys and, guys and girls do it alike, they're just like, dude, we're going to the Super Bowl. And it's like, okay, no. You wear khakis all day long, every day at work. Um, also, you shouldn't just fucking scream in an in Instagram story at all. It's so annoying. When people scream, these are the Instagram stories that just gotta go. People screaming, like people go like, woo! That's just annoying, dude. Don't ever go woo, really ever, anywhere, really. The Super Bowl, okay. A sporting event, fine. Don't ever go woo, though, all right? Wooing is just so goddamn annoying. And the thing is, sit and think about that. You agree, right? Who the fuck wants to woo? Bro, I got to turn the on. Now, here's the other thing. At the club, I don't give a fuck at the club, all right? No, at the club. Where there's like strobes and oh, you're in Vegas. And guess what happens at the club? Woo win. So that's a double no. All right. When you're just Instagram story. Oh, my my girl. Oh, my God. my Me and my girl. Me and wifey. Or the bros just on the uh, standing on the couches. <laughs> no, dude. I don't want to see that. Whoops. I clicked on it by X. Another one is pictures of food, obviously. Everyone has fucking eaten before. I've seen all the food. Fuck that. There's probably people that are starving in fucking wherever the fuck people starve. Looking at your Instagram story all like, damn. That's the thing. You want people to be like, you don't want people to actually look at your story at the club. You just want them to know that they were, you were at the club having a good time. Also, I don't want to be there, so it didn't work on me. And I'm so cool. So you want my fucking opinion. Um... Anyway, I'm, uh, anyway, dude, that was that was uh, congratulations to that guy, which is cool. My home, remember that song? My my home, my my home boy, my my home, my my home boy. Lighter shade of brown, and I would listen to that song, and I loved it. And my dad would say, "I thought that was song. I thought that song was about a guy named Patrick Mahoney." Um, and he would laugh so hard, and I wouldn't think it was that funny, but. Whatever. he's. It was funny that he thought it was funny. I, I, I like that much. That's the thing. When somebody thinks something's fucking so funny, I think it's extra funny. It's probably why I laugh so fucking hard at my own shit. Anyway, fuck y'all. I ain't fuck got it. no motherfucker. So I fucked your bitch. You fat. How do you must? So um, the football game, the Super Bowl game, is just the, the fucking the halftime show, which... I loved. I it fucking I'm a gay man. Do you understand me? I'm a gay man. Okay? The halftime show at the Super Bowl made me a gay man. Because I loved it. Because I'm sitting there watching Shakira and J Lo and I'm not watching them like I wanna fucking 
lay them out. You know what I'm talking about? I'm watching them like I'm proud of them. I'm watching them like, wow. I'm Owen Wilson in this fucking, wow. And I'm watching them, and I'm like, J-Lo's how old? 51 or 50? And she's moving around like that? And also, I hate when people say this because I never agree with it, but when people say like, yeah, she's 55 or 60 and hotter than ever, and it's like, okay, but you know really what you're doing. But J-Lo's legit hotter than ever. She's hotter than she was when she was 25 or whatever, or 30. She looks so good and sexy. And Shakira, too. By the way, she, somebody, and then somebody at the end told me, and guess what? Shakira's 43. And I was like, together they're 93? They told me, I knew J-Lo had been around. But then somebody, like, went, Psst, and guess what? Shakira's 43. Like the end of the fucking movie that I always forget the name of, Time to Kill. Not Time to Kill, but the one with Matthew McConaughey, Time to Kill. And at the end, he's like, now imagine she's white. And I was like, oh. And Shakira's 43? And I'm leaning back, what? They're 93 together? And they're, they're fucking it up, dude. And J-Lo had mirrors on? Dude, how J-Lo is it when they're like, what do you want to wear? And she was like, mirrors. And they they said, and they were like, well, why? And she said, I'm not answering. You figured it out. And then really the reason why was, though, because she wanted you to see yourself when she's dancing to see how much fucking uglier you were compared to her while she was dancing. See what how much of a fat piece of shit you are when she's dancing, killing it. With Shakira. And she wanted Shakira to see her mistakes too in the mirror. That's what J-Lo did. She was like, I'm just, she was fucking killing it with her with her shit. And she wanted mirrors because she wanted Shakira when she looked over to see J-Lo killing it. And then Shakira rack focus to herself in the mirror on how she's not as good. That's what J-Lo's thought was. And I'm not saying Shakira wasn't as good, but that's what her thought was. By the way, Shakira was the shit for one reason. And we all know the reason, because she fucking leaned into the camera and went, so Shakira for president. Now, my favorite thing is how the internet went nuts. It was like, oh, yeah, we're rep- she's representing. That's what we do in our culture for fucking when we show excitement. And it's like people just flipped out. This is a great day for whatever culture does that. I don't even know. I'm fucking white. And um, they were like, this is a great day for us representing. How- Imagine if fucking like. Tucker Carlson did it, or like Anderson Cooper, or just even fucking Adam Levine. If he just went, if he was just like, she got that moves like Jagger, she got that moves like Jagger, ooh, and then he just went, it would be fucking canceled city, which is hilarious, you know? Are you appropriating culture or not? Either way, I'll lay it. Either way. Either way, let's go to France, my babies. Dude, I need a fucking lay it out zone where I just, like, in, it's like in a, in a tourist. It's in a tourist b- hustling and bustling, a tourism, tourism and shit. And I just have a door and it's me kicking it out there on a fucking turtleneck. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm like, hey, if anyone needs to get laid out, come on in. Just in a turtleneck. And then they come in and I go, hit it. And I go, and I go, next. And it costs $23. And I don't even use the money ever. I just save it like Jay Leno with his fucking Tonight Show money. Because he, he only, he only he never used his Tonight Show money, if, the, if, those, if you guys know that. Or if you don't, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't have explained it. You should have just fucking been on my level. I don't give a shit. Um, anyway. Anyway, dude. Um, about the fucking... Uh, let me do the ads, and then I'll talk more about the J-Lo shit. When you need red wine at Postmates, when you need red wine at 4 p.m., sushi at 9 p.m., a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m., and ibuprofen at 10 a.m., Postmates it. Postmates all day long if you want. You can. You can stay at home and just keep eating. Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever kind of delivery service all year round. Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. 
They're the largest on-demand network in the U.S. and offer delivery from all the restaurants, grocery, and convenience stores. Is the place around? Yeah, then Postmates can do it. Uh, it's got everything you want or need. 24 hours a day, 320, uh, 365 days a year. Postmates will bring you what you need within the hour. That's all of the days of the year. No more trips to the store. You don't even need to know where the store is. Postmates, you just, is the store around? Yeah, Postmates got you. Download the app for iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery in real time. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners, that's the babies, $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. So just get it. To start your free deliveries, download the app and use code CONGRATS. That's code CONGRATS for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. I did it. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it, download Postmates and save with code CONGRATS. MeUndies, love is in the air. Someone grabbed the Lysol. Nah, just kidding. Even though this is a made-up holiday, it's still really cute. It's also the perfect time to show that special someone how much you care and say those three words everyone wants to hear. Match my undies. MeUndies has the most affordable Valentine's Day prints to get all lovey-dovey this year. Don't worry if you don't have a boo. That's fine. MeUndies also makes buddy bands so you can match with your pet, which is honestly more important than matching with a person. I have four dogs now, so need all those buddy bands. Ta- I, I got I got muddy I got buddy bands for my dogs. I put them on, love them, hold them with buddy bands and we love them. And I'm chilling in my undies. I don't give a shit. Um put me undies on me and my girl, put me undies on my dogs, put me undies on my fucking butler. We're all wearing me undies. To show how much they love you me undies has not one but new Three new Valentine's Day prints this year. So go on and look at them. And MeUndies has a great offer for my listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off free shipping. This is a no-brainer, especially because they have 100% satisfaction guarantee. You don't like it? Send it back. To get your 50% off your first pair, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash congrats. That's MeUndies.com slash congrats. Dude, it's like with the Super Bowl thing, J-Lo, and then people were like out... This is what I don't like about Twitter moments, man. I'm on Twitter, and I I I, I tweeted about this because I because my tweets are really fucking important, you know. I needed everyone to know. Um, so I went to Twitter, and so I took to Twitter, right? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna bang a few tweets out. Now, is my shit loading right now? No. Does it make me mad? Yeah, of course. But it's loading now, so it's okay. The internet should be blazing. Had one fire tell me to fucking do it. Number one internet service provider. And you fucking fucking all of it. So not all good. Anyway. Um, yeah, it was widely lauded. This was a Twitter moment that I tweeted. It was widely lauded when... Uh, here. The scrutiny over Shakira and J-Lo's Super Bowl performance sparks conversation on double standards. Now it says... Um... While Shakira and J Lo's half while Shakira and J Lo's halftime performance on Sunday was widely lauded, some viewers com- commented on the artist's clothing and dance moves. Several people took the opportunity to acknowledge that the same concerns weren't raised. During- Dude, here's the deal: if several people are doing it, then it's not a fucking Twitter. It's not a who gives a shit. Why are you giving four people a platform? This is the this is the fringe. So then you put it on the Twitter moments. And now everyone thinks it's a thing, and then everyone else gets mad, and it's a huge problem. So Twitter got quests. Chew doon. It's so annoying. They ripped. These girls, these women ripped the halftime show. Four people are like, well, four Mormons or Catholics are like, well, I don't want my kids seeing the inside of J-Lo's leg. And so now Twitter puts this on as a Twitter moment, and now everyone else is like, you know, the left has gotten out of control, or whatever the fuck. When the left is fine, the right's, well. But it's like, you know, it's so annoying, man. It's like a problem. Twitter, it's annoying when they do that, dude. Twitter is so biased, man. But what are you going to do? That's where I get all my fucking news and gifs. What am I going to do, dude? 
That's who I, That's how I found out the girl who fucking drank the Pepsi and didn't like it and then did like it. That's how I found out about her. Who's a fan of the podcast, apparently. Shout out to her. I see your tweets. You were in the Hummus Sabra commercial, but it's all good. We still love you, baby. Um... Uh, yeah, that's the other thing, too. Like, people are going to tweet the people in the Sabra commercial. Oh, Chris Lee, oh, fucking, he's hating on you. No, I'm not, dude. It's all good, man. Make those bags for real. I would have been in that fucking commercial in two seconds. How much? Okay. This how I must. Just putting fucking... Can I put bubble gum in it? Um. So, yeah, dude, it's the fringe. You know, it's not the fringe that's fucking it up. It's the fucking... It's it's giving four people a platform. Anyway, I want to talk about the greatest acting performance of all time, and it's in one scene, and I can't believe I've never talked about this before. Um, but it is... I, I should have looked it up. Bad. Lou. Lou. How do you spell lieutenant? L-I-U. Really? There's no E in there? Oh, so L-I-E-U. One fire. When he does the fucking Nicolas Cage, when he goes, sup, sup. You know that scene? Oh, my God, dude. I'm looking this up. Nicolas Cage, sup, dude. He keeps saying sup in this. I'm just going to play that. <laughs> this is the greatest. This, if you motherfucker, this is what I say. I get in an argument all the time with my girl about this fucking... Nicholas Cage, greatest actor of all time, all right? You know why? He makes choices. He makes, he takes chances. They're not all going to be good. But because he does that, it makes him fucking amazing, all right? Nicholas Cage is an amazing actor that has done some bad movies. But if I, but this is the, he keeps coming out with movies and I'm like, all right, so he's the greatest. To take a chance and do this in a movie is the most donkey bald choice you could possibly make he's got so many his balls are so large that he just sometimes relaxes by sitting on them okay they're like one of those fucking things that you can find in the toy stores that you bounce on those are what his balls are because of this Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the Taliban shit. That's what this is. Oh, so he's in a car with three black guys. Now it's important that he's white and they're black because you can tell Nicolas Cage. God, he's so good. Look at his face. Just look at his goddamn face in this fucking thing. Motherfuckers, when they blow themselves up, that's money. Yeah, he wants to. Hey, shut. He wants to impress them. And this is just uh, unreal, unreal that he does this, dude. That's money. Yeah. Where's the money? Hey, shut up. Where's the 15000 He just <laughs> stops them by saying, hey, hey, stop. Dude. You don't get it, man. Relax. All that. Did I not do what I said I was going to do? Yo, man. Relax. Tell me again to relax. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to beat you, man. Where's my money? It's holding a gun on him. I'll get your money. When? Tomorrow. Where? So good. My place. Give me a cut of the uncut dope. But so I'm gonna pay you in money. So good. This is interest. That's bullshit, man. What's that, little man? Yeah, Mitch. Sit down. Here. He takes the coke. Now put that gun away before you kill somebody. Puts the gun away. Kill all of you. And then this wasn't. There's no way this was in the script. To the break of dawn. Amazing. <laughs> to the break of dawn, baby. <laughs> Dude, how he goes to the break of dawn, baby. Uh, so insecure, but also so secure. Bro, Nicolas Cage, I'll suck you off. Straight up. 
Look at this. Then he goes into the fucking bar <laughs> to the fucking to this white guy, and and this is what he does. No, sup, don't talk sup, to me no, sup. about no fucking debts, Terrence. Okay, yo, what's the matter? Don't you like me no more? You don't pay your debts. I don't want to know you. I can't afford it. <laughs> Ten grand. Five by O. Oh. Yeah? Five by Louisiana. Right there. Sup. Oh, uh, putting money in his pocket saying sup. Where'd you get this? What, are you my priest? It's right there. Here. You got it. That's a six-point spread. Oh, shit. Sup. He's the best actor there. I mean, dude, if you don't think Nicolas Cage is the... There's a comment. Nicolas Cage caged the shit out of this role. I love this man. When he says, to the break of dawn, baby. God, he's fucking full throttle, huh? Nicolas Cage is just so good. I want to meet him so bad. That's the only guy I'd probably geek out harder than when I met Keanu Reeves. I don't know. It's up there. The two of them are the best. Different, different. Nicolas Cage, I genuinely think, is one of the greatest actors of all time. Uh, Keanu Reeves, I think, is one of the greatest movie stars. Uh, but yeah, man. Wow. Just fucking sup. Sup. Hey, sup. I'm jealous he did that. Now I can't do it. I got to get in more of these fucking movies so I can take fucking donkey ball chances, man. I need to take these donkey ball chances, man. Just got to get comfy. Um, what else? Let's look. Do we have uh, 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 any Twitter questions or anything like that? Sup, sup, sup. Bro, what is this? No, this is... Oh, this is funny. What's up with uh, the caucuses, man? I don't give a fuck. Dub man. Dub man. Uh, there's something else I want to talk about. Can't remember, and it's all good. Doesn't matter. Either way, it doesn't matter. I don't have it. Instagram, most fucked up Instagram. I got to start doing that again. Most Instagram, most fucked up Instagram post of the week. I do like that. <laughs> um, here we go. Cri Twitter questions. Krista Smith. Krista Leo, what is your hair care routine? So, um, I wash it like every three, four days. Depends on how fucking sweaty I get at the gym. I fucking uh, wash it with nioc nioxin or whatever the fuck because you never know. Because maybe who knows if you'd be losing your fucking hair. And so I keep it to keep it nice and thick, my baby. And then every time I wash it with the nioxin and put the conditioner in, I pop on out and I dry my hair. And bro, that shit looks phenomenal. My shit fucking puffs the fuck out. Sometimes so hard, I look like a goddamn mushroom. And I need to, and I need to honestly take a step back. But when I put a turtleneck on, it's cool because my hair flattens out a little bit. And then, bro, if I wash my hair, and then the next day put a turtleneck on. Forget it. Forget it. They go Brad Pitt who? That's what they do. They go Ryan Re I can't remember Reynolds or something. That's what they do when I do that. They go fucking oh, why do I always forget this guy's name? The guy from Blade Runner. Not Harrison Ford. The other one. Ryan Gosling. I fucking always forget his name. It's weird mental block. Anyway, um also uh that's what I do. And then I put a little bit of stuff in it. Because, it's, you know, you got to put it in. Otherwise, it's so frizzy. I don't want to look like I'm going to put my fucking finger in an electrical socket. What? I don't know. I can't remember. I used to use that Philip B stuff that was cream of the crop. And they discontinued it. Dude, that's what happens with the hair shit, man. I'll use it for like six years. And then they discontinue it. I got my dad hooked up on it. And then they discontinued it. And so now I feel like a bad son. Um. So... Uh, whose body were you disposing of in Logic and Eminem's homicide video by Logan Ridruff? I, you know, I don't know. They never fucking said anything. Was it somebody? I think people thought it was certain people, but I, I did, nobody ever told me. Maybe it was supposed to be somebody and I didn't even know about it. Um, and then uh, what else? Uh, I got to start freestyling more. Speaking of rap, I have the hottest freestyles, dude. You heard about this one? She thinks that I fought 
it, but I didn't fart. And I could prove it because that was poop alarm. And when I do it, that means I'm a poop in a bit. And I ain't gonna be farting after that because that shit. And after that, then I'll just be chilling and she'll think twice about maybe smelling the room when she's around me, dog. But she ain't around me that much because she's scared I might poop alarm again. But I won't ever do a poop alarm again, especially if I'm in the presence of a girl with tits. It's- so, so I do hot as fuck freestyles, man. And I challenge anyone, honestly. I don't give a fuck. And I don't rhyme. I try not to rhyme because rhyming is for fucking. Dude, that's for bitches, for real. Yeah, just go out to all the women. Oh, shit. Live my life and be happy But if you in a relationship with a girl That's next to impossible Because they always upset with some shit That is not worth being upset about yep. Like you could be sitting down And a woman's like yo you should be standing up Not sitting down anymore And then you like but that don't bother anybody Why can't I just chill And she like I heard it on a fucking podcast That you shouldn't be standing up anymore Or read it on a blog And then you mad cause you should've fucking because that's a later episode on a podcast that are in a series that you were supposed to listen to together, but you went out of town and she was trying to listen to it without you even though you promised together that you listened to the whole thing. So now you can't even listen to the podcast and it's a cultural phenomenon and everybody talking about it. And that shit's supposed to make me feel okay. But then when I raise my voice and say, why you listen to that podcast? She like, why you raise your voice to me? You shouldn't be doing that and you should only treat me in, with every with every respect. And I'm like, but baby, it's not respectable if you listening to the podcast and the later episodes that went on we said we were supposed to listen to it together but you listening to the podcast and now i'm more pissed off so i gotta swallow that pride and eat it up and later on that become cancer and then you the winner because you like taking care of everybody so you taking care of me on my deathbed and i make you feel like a woman yeah but i'm dying and that shit hurt because cancer ain't good and i hurt and i'm weathering away but secretly you happy so you get your way no matter what so see because that's the thing man a lot of these rappers don't rap about real stuff they'll just rap about fucking rims and bitches and shit and money and like i like to bring real actual content you know what i mean i like to i'm like a conscious rapper okay so go fuck yourself man uh i gotta i gotta i gotta start freestyling more man in my in my 30s uh all right i guess we're done you know is there anything else that you wanted to me to do? Okay, I'm done. Uh, thank you, guys. Wow, I can't believe I made it the whole turtleneck episode, keeping the turtleneck on. So be proud of me, please. And also, uh, my I'm so my my stomach and my chest is so fucking beat it up, dude. It's so beat it up. Anyway, we gotta go because somebody's cell phone is fucking going off or something. Anyway. Uh, that's it. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for listening. This has been the Turtleneck episode. You guys ripped, and uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, oh, also text me at 818-239-7087. And you can sp- – oh, new merch. I, no, not new merch, but restock is coming this next week, so do that. This shit goes so fast. Come see me in, in West Palm Beach, West Palm Beach and Brea, California. Uh and I have finally getting a date to my new special. Uh, I have it, but I can't announce it yet. So let me know, guys. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for listening. See ya. Congratulations.